The database aimed at identifying prostitutes if they happen to be murdered is actually now helping save their lives. All new at six, a survivor of the sex trade tells Jack Fink how it not only got her off the streets, but is helping her help others. Jack? Well, Kaylee, the program is called the Prostitute Diversion Initiative. It doesn't really sound fancy, but Jamie Kelly believes it turned her life around. I've been on the side of a highway. I just happened to live through it. Jamie Kelly says in 2004, on a countryside road in a remote area of Dallas, she was left for dead. She was a prostitute. Nobody would have came looking for me. Nobody would have even known I was missing. At the time, the FBI noticed a big problem on highways nationwide. Hundreds of women disappeared, their bodies discovered years later. It's a problem throughout the United States, and uh, there are hundreds of uh, truckers that are uh, serial murderers. Joe Costa, now DeSoto's police chief, worked in the Dallas County Sheriff's Office, and along with Dallas Police and UNT's Center for Human Identification, they began a pilot program to ask prostitutes to voluntarily give authorities their DNA. If they did go back into that, that prostitution program and they were victims, then we would be able to identify who they are. So. Jamie Kelly says after 19 years as a prostitute and a convicted felon, she signed up to help other women end their life on the streets. That I would probably not have survived, and I would likely have went back to the streets. Kelly was also helping herself. She got married, went back to school, and now has a master's degree in social work and became a licensed master social worker. As I was put on this earth to show women they too can survive. Now, when she reflects on her former life. I see the hurt little girl that became the woman I am today. She is very much a part of who I am and where I am. A story of second chances, and local authorities say this program helped them identify a prostitute who died in Fort Worth three years ago. Now, more than 450 prostitutes have signed up for this program. Live in Northeast Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.